teach me just kind of came from that that real conversation that I had with God. God is like, I've been knocking for a long time and you're not yeah. listening. Yeah. yeah. You're not listening. People so excited to see R&B music that isn't toxic, gotcha. you know, and that's actually promoting like, you love. know, <laughs> love, yeah. right? Like yeah, yeah. love in the way that like God designed us to love. Some of the maybe the concerns they're having that your music is answering. Like mm -hmm. what, what are you what are you hearing from them? That's a great question. I know you have the remix with Juan Day. Mm -hmm. Would you ever do the remix for like Steven Rizzo or Jordan and like their, the male perspective? You know, help me to understand this person that you have created. Lee. What's up? How are you? I'm great. How are y'all? Man, we're so great to have, glad to have you. We're doing good. We're doing really good. You did such a great job last time. Thank um, you. Everybody loved you. So I'm glad to see you back. Yes. Been blowing up. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> um, very humbling um, and very, very exciting. God's really been blowing my mind. Um, and it's so cool to be able to come back here with y'all because I spoke with y'all literally the day after my bag came out in mm -hmm. September. And now yeah. it's like a lot of things have changed. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So tell, talk to them about uh, Teach Me. Tell them how that song came about, what sure. it means, all of that. Sure. So Teach Me um, came out in January and like all of my songs, it's a song that I really just wrote from a genuine place, yeah. a conversation I was having with God for real um, about what was going on in my relationship. And um, I don't even know what it was, but we were just arguing. We had a misunderstanding as we do in mm -hmm. relationships. Yeah. And right. um, I was praying about it because I knew that it was spiritual, right? I was like, this isn't even real, bro. Like, you know? <laughs> and um, and so I was praying and um, I, I was probably praying something like, you know, like change this man, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was disciplined in the spirit to instead change my prayer to, you know, help me to understand this person that you have created this way mm -hmm. on purpose, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so then Teach Me just kind of came from that that real conversation that I had with God. And um, it's been really cool to see the way that it's been received and just resonating with so many different kinds of people. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing that you've got feedback from from that record like what's the biggest thing that like blew your mind that so i think the most consistent <clears throat> feedback is just people so excited to see r&b music that isn't toxic gotcha. you know and that's actually promoting like you love. know <laughs> love yeah, right yeah, like yeah, yeah. love in the way that like god designed us to love yeah. you know what i'm saying um and so that's been really encouraging to me too because um i really i had zero expectations for the record i was putting it out and you know just coming from a place of obedience of you know answering what god told me to do which was put this music out you know um and so what's been blowing my mind the most is just kind of just the the the, the range of different types of listeners and people um that are really relating to the record and it's really encouraging to me too i'm like okay great we're getting out of this toxic era you know <laughs> so did you think that was the record or did you feel like your other ones were as good as that or what are you what are your thoughts about each record that you've put out hmm, so far that's a good question i think that um Again, for all of them, I really didn't have expectations. Yeah, I was too. just kind of like, let me put these out. And I just pray that it does what God wants it to do. Yeah. Right. And um, like when Teach Me, because I posted a snippet of it before it dropped. I posted it like yeah. a couple days before it dropped and it started to really go up. And I remember when I posted it, I my prayer, as it usually is when I put music out, is God, just let this get to whoever needs to hear it. Mm. Right. Um, and so what that's happened? God moving it, you know what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? Um, yeah. Cause it's really been such an organic kind of, kind of move of the record and just, um, of so many different people coming to my bad presence, um, kind of as a result of it. And then your will too. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. Wow. That's dope. Yeah, I, I, I think it sounds, I think it sounds amazing. What, what's mm -hmm. the, um, what's your general direction? Like, is there, is there, um, artists that you're modeling your career after, are you trying to do something different? Like, where do you where do you see it going? Um, I would say I would say yes and no. Like, I obviously I have influences, but I really I really want to do something different in the way that like, in the, I I would love to see like this music just go as far as possible to like 
share my testimony and the things I've been delivered from and really encourage as many people as possible. Mm. Um, and so I would love to see my music and just like all of the really dope things that are happening across the Christian genre and new genres that are popping up um, in the Christian space. Um, just see it go as, as big as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, so obviously like I'm inspired a lot by like Mariah Carey. I grew up listening to all the time, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, and I've always loved what like Kirk Franklin has done, like Mary Mary, like really bringing in those cool kind of like um elements into the into the christian space mm -hmm. and so i would just love to see god do it what he wants to do with it because i feel like whenever i've put kind of a goal around anything like god has always blown my mind yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so i'm just like god whatever you want to do because i don't want to block you know the the trajectory of anything wow, absolutely. so absolutely yeah i said the whole sound is just refreshing like they were saying not toxic um, a lot of people I know have gravitated toward Christian R&B. It almost seems like people are not tired of Christian rap, I wouldn't say, but it's refreshing to have a different <clears throat> sound that's bringing yeah. that, that mm. positive, encouraging message. So it's like a whole wave of Christian R&B artists that's killing it right now. Mm -hmm. And um, you're one of them, and we Thank enjoy you. listening to it for yeah. sure. Thank you. How about that cover? Talk about the cover that you was a part of with everybody. Like it was, I think it was... Um, Jordan Armstrong. Uh -huh. The uh, Elevate. Yeah. Uh -huh. Talk about that. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um, and really, again, something that blew my mind because I I always say like I'm, I'm kind of a baby in yeah. this space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've been performing my whole life, like as yeah. we kind of talked about last time I was mm -hmm. here. But um, it really is new for me to be um, in the Christian space. And so um, to be kind of recognized. So the the. Um, the title of the of the article or um, photo shoot was um, uh, Trailblazers of Revolutionized Hip Hop and R and B, yeah. and so when I got that invite, you know, to the yeah. photo, I was like, for real, like, <laughs> wow, because um, it was with so many artists that I really look up to, like yeah. Jordan, Juan Day, you know, um, CC, um, so many people that you know I really genuinely listen to and yeah. am inspired by. Um, so it was really fun, and it was cool when we went there because um, it was like you know almost like a little family reunion a little bit like no, it was really no. good vibes like mm -hmm. just really fun um and really cool to see um you know like you mentioned that kind of crossover of the mm -hmm. christian hip-hop and r&b yeah. being acknowledged in one space um was just like so fun yeah it's dope man i i, I like i like that that it's the new sound of yeah. of of christian music like it's just it's just so dope and i always say this in, in the back of my mind i'm really thinking about doing a post about this like as a Christian now, it's like you don't have no excuse anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. so much good music out here that you don't have to go to mainstream. Yeah. You're choosing yeah. to go to mainstream. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I love it too because sometimes I don't want to hear rap when I'm in the car. I don't want to hear just, yeah, yeah. I want to hear something, something I can ride to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I can just cruise to. It's not so abrasive. Sometimes rap music, you just like, man, I heard enough. Mm -hmm. Especially you coming from a concert or a rap concert or a show, it's like, yeah. but an R&B concert, you're leaving and say, I want to listen to this album and see what it sounds like. It's more easy on the ears. Yeah. Like, so I've been enjoying it. Mm. So you're telling us earlier that a lot of this, um, I mean, how, when was when were you on the show last? It wasn't, wasn't that long. It was ago. September. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So since of September, last year. yeah, I've seen your your following just grow like crazy. Yeah. What are some of the things that um, I'm imagining young girls, young guys are following you? What are some of the things you're hearing them say? Uh, some of the maybe the concerns they're having that your music is answering. Like mm -hmm. what what are you what are you hearing from them? Um, that's a great question. I get a lot of DMs of people really just um specifically women telling me that um, that uh, the, when they hear my music, it like makes them easier to even think about their relationship with God, mm -hmm. um, which is like music to my ears because yeah. that's really that's my that's my main goal you know what i'm saying and to see the um the my platform grow so much is really um humbling you know um to see the way that god is like allowing um, me to be used because that's my prayer too right it's like yeah. i want to be used like and really just just share your glory what you've done in my life with as many people as as you see fit you know and so it's really cool to see that um the because i'm i'm always writing from from my real heart real like heart on my sleeve kind of experiences mm -hmm. you know um and so it's really cool to see um that women are connecting it from a heart space and that it's really helping them to yeah. grow and connect in their mm -hmm. relationship with god too so um so yeah that's been probably the best mm -hmm. part you know is i'm like yeah. okay god like yeah. you know um so so yeah so a lot of that um and then also people just uh i see a lot of comments of people saying that like they were on the way to go fight with their man or with their with their you know significant other and then they heard teach me and wow. it redirected them to prayer wow. and that's like 
you know, so much bigger. Exactly. Yeah. That's so much bigger than I thought, you know, this song was going to be. Um, and so it's just really cool to see it being used. So is this a well, real prayer that you had, Teach Me? Yeah. What was the answer? Um, <laughs> 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 so um, I think mainly what I got was that, like, as humans, a lot of us just want to win, right? Mm -hmm. When we're, like, in a disagreement or misunderstanding and yeah. i think that's the thing too a lot of it really is a misunderstanding yeah. right mm -hmm. and like we're raised different we have different backgrounds we you know had different um uh examples growing up and stuff and so i think that like what i've been kind of most disciplined in is like um is is really leading into the fruits of the holy spirit and like being like gentle you know, being slow to anger, you know, and not yeah. anger at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, and really just working on kind of um, uh, uh, rebuking the spirit of offense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that like that's where the misunderstandings be coming from because we like look for a lot of times we're looking for an argument. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And it's like, no, it don't even need to be like that. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Do you think like you? I know you have the remix with Juan Day. Mm -hmm. Would you ever do the remix for like Stephen Rizzo or Jordan and like their, the male perspective? From yeah, that? yeah, yes. Oh, is that already <laughs> happening? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. okay. All, right. Okay. All right. right. Yeah, I think it's it's an interesting topic because I mean it goes both ways, right? It's not just girls and guys, but yeah. guys mm -hmm. have the same thought and. I think what I've learned, I don't know you guys, yeah. but what I've learned is the best thing to do is to figure out what you can do better mm -hmm. instead of trying to figure out how to fix fix the other person. Yeah. And usually in the midst of that, God shows you, because what, what I think a lot of people don't realize is that the relationship, God allows you to have this relationship to sharpen you. Like, yeah. They're, they're intentionally there to annoy the mess out of you. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so that you figure yes. out where you're short and where you're, yeah. you know, yeah. where you, where you're lacking. Yeah. So usually the answer that I've found is, Okay, forget about them. This is what you need to do. This yeah. is what I'm teaching you by yeah. making this. Because yeah. usually when you get annoyed or you get frustrated or you get down, it's usually because God is like, I've been knocking for a long time and you're yeah. not listening. Yeah. yeah. You're not listening. So that's that's usually the answer mm -hmm. to the teach me is just stop trying to think about what they're doing wrong. <laughs> Figure out what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. real. Because yeah, really your partner is your mirror too, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's like a lot of times, yeah. like there's a lot of – um uh uh reactions that come from like like you said like yeah. you you know what i'm saying so um so yeah that's that's deep and it does come from both ways right i think a lot of times we like tend to be like men be doing this and then men yeah. be like women are like this right. but it's like no all of us are children who need correcting yeah. and disciplining yeah. you know what I'm yeah. all the yeah. time you know yeah what you yeah. said so, is right we all want to win like that's real Mm -hmm. A lot of times you want to be respected, you want to be heard, but you're not thinking about the long term effects of what you're saying and how it's going to affect the relationship. Yeah. So yeah, you let go of that pride, wow. man. You'll go a long way for sure. Mm -hmm. A label's calling. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean hitting the with them. <laughs> um, we're having some. We're having a lot of cool talks mm -hmm. with some people. So yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> are you are are you in the I'm already signed, but I'm good. Pretending I'm not side face. I am independent. Okay, okay. I'm independent right, right. now. We've yeah. seen a lot of those. Yeah. Who was who, 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 who some people that you'd be like? Okay, I could see me over there, or I could see me working with this this label or anything like that nature. I think there's a lot of cool things mm -hmm. happening at a lot of different. <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm not saying you got to say the name. Uh, but like, what, 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 like, if somebody said, "Hey, would you want to do RCA Inspiration or would you want to do?" reach or do you want to do like you know what i'm saying would you be open to like anything that you have in your mind like you i really like that that may be something that i like like i said i think that uh, everybody really does have she, she yeah. cool <laughs> things no well, let's no, just negotiate your contract really right cool now what are you what are you looking happening. for you know what, what i'm saying what are you, like we looking for a certain percentage like what are we we looking for exposure let's try and get it right because i mean yeah, they're listening. Yeah. what i'll say is this i'm very <laughs> my prayer is that god just directs me and my team mm -hmm. to the right partners to steward yeah. what yeah. he wants to do in and through me yeah. and through this music. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, because what I've learned, especially with Teach Me and it just organically moving, is that it's not up to me yeah. or my team yeah. to move it gotcha. or grow it. Gotcha. We have to be obedient and show up, right? But yeah. it's our job to steward what God wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. The main I would say this. I've been signed before. The main thing is the deal, whatever deal you sign is not your success. Your success is the all the infrastructure you build around your career, right? Yeah. That is just a 
the top of your funnel, you need to have some other things that you're offering behind the scenes Definitely. that that backfill whatever you're giving up percentage wise. So I would say that like a lot of what you're seeing now with track stars when I was signed was to say, OK, if this doesn't work out, I need to have something going on on my own that I'm building in the meantime. Right. Because what they're going to give you is a ton of exposure all at once. Mm -hmm. You got to have something to do with the exposure. Yeah. So just start thinking through everything, not just the deal. And this is for every artist, not yeah. just the deal itself, but what am I building in the background yeah. that I have more control over that I can really say, God, this is what you're doing with. And I'm just going to use that deal to get eyes on it. Right. Yeah. And I think the same applies when you're independent. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, you always I I really do like to think of, you know, um, not ever limiting, you know, the gifts. Right. That God has given me or any of us. Right. And so it's like even when you're in an independent artist space, like having an infrastructure matters. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You have to sustain. Yeah. Right. Um, so, yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we got a super chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said uh, Miss Bossy. Yes. <laughs> Would you consider working with Rodney Jerkins? Yeah. And when is the album dropping? So, Rodney Jerkins is an amazing talent. Um, I would consider working with anyone. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. talk about. Can you talk about your team? When you said me and my team, so it's like, mm -hmm. like I think people don't understand like the importance of when as an indie, as an indie artist. A team, mm -hmm. like speak to that, like speak yeah. to the, like like somebody who's maybe maybe is an indie artist out there that's doing everything. They they mm -hmm. posting everything, they writing their own songs, they yeah. they doing everything, they doing behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. Talk about the importance of trusting people mm -hmm. with um, cultivating your talent yeah. and bringing you out to the masses. Yeah. yeah. So um, I so I do write all my stuff and I do post all my content. I shoot my content right. Like I do I do most of the creative work mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um and so where my team comes in a lot is just kind of um um emails mm -hmm. right it's like mm -hmm. i'm not always going to be the able to see stuff. every email yeah. right admin um and you know helping you know they do a lot of really really cool things that uh, enable me to um be be creative right mm -hmm. yeah. but i am also hands-on in a lot of different things just that's my that's my personality and yeah. um i think that's kind of god built me in that way right mm -hmm. um to to i i like to know how everything works you know what i'm saying oh, um and so smart. for me um in building that trust with um my team it's also like you have to trust that like you um are are, are trusting yourself to to identify the right people to grow with mm -hmm. right because it really is a, a relationship right yeah. um they're you know colleagues that become friends and prayer warriors and um that was something really important to me team or too in working with the team was um being able to know that we have the same foundation mm -hmm. and that we 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 all want to just serve god with our lives um and that helps us to be most efficient in working with each other and um, making sure that everybody's everybody's hitting all the marks at the same time because um, we all just want to please God and honor God with our lives. So oh. the last question, um, when you start winning like Grammys and awards and stuff, are you going to forget about us? <laughs> Never. <laughs> are you going to be like, oh yeah, that little show I did back in the day? Never. Okay. Come on. <laughs> so real quick, tell everybody how to support you before we, we got other stuff to talk about here, but how to support you, how to find you, all that kind of stuff. Sure. So um, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok at Lili Vasi, L-E-E-L-E-E-V-A-S-I. And then I'm also on Facebook, Lee Vasi, um, YouTube, uh, all DSP streaming platforms my music is everywhere so Very I cool. hope y'all like it